happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. It is January the 11th, 2022. It's the 93rd day. And guess what? Your Georgia Bulldogs are national champions. Go dogs! Um, my son goes to Georgia, so I yeah, know I'm a Ohio State fan. I was rooting for the Bulldogs, and they pulled it off. First national championship since 1980. Herschel Walker Day. Go dogs! We'll be calling the dogs at the end. So, uh, but today is uh, Tuesday. It is January 11th, 2022, 93rd day of school. I'm Mr. Butcher. It's my job to keep you guys safe so that you can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, you've left your average at home or on the bus, and you are ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Our first responsibility, which responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort, is to show respect for those the rights that we have in this country um, and at this school. We do this by daily saying our pledge of allegiance, our school pledge, as well as doing a moment of silence. When we do this, we need you to stop what you're doing, stand up tall, put your hand over your hearts like this, say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you guys would please stand for the pledge, remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I'll be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Alright, our second responsibility each day responsible is doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. It is to be ready. Ready means being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff. Two, keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We do this by daily washing our hands, frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure we get to all parts of our hands. Palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, our fingertips, in between our fingers, our wrists and our thumbs. Because when we do this, we want to make sure that we're doing it for at least 20 seconds using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Let's model what that looks like now. So you want to get the palms of your hands too. <laughs> Our hands, we've said our pledges, um, we've done our moment of silence. It is time to show respect. Respect means treating others the way you want to be treated. Show respect for those that have birthdays today. Happy birthday to Giovanni Hernandez, who's nine, and Paige Spencer, who is also nine. We'll make sure you get your birthday. Our next morning responsible responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort is to make our lunch choice today. Mini corn dogs to celebrate the Georgia Bulldogs winning the national mini corn dogs. They weren't many last night, they were huge. Well, go dogs. Mini corn dogs, creamy coleslaw, baked beans, baked lays, orange wedges. If you don't want mini corn dogs to celebrate the Georgia Bulldog National Championship, you can always get fruit and yogurt or PB&J, or muffin and yogurt or PB&J. All right, it's time for our vocabulary and uh, uh, creative writing activity for the day. Here's our picture for the week. Yesterday we talked about, uh, just told you to look at it. Today we're looking specifically for nouns, persons, places, things. Got to look carefully. It looks like a lot of the same kind of things. Got to look, be a little bit more creative. What do you see? Um, tomorrow we'll be asking you guys for verbs, action words, things that show action. So be looking on this. This is a great op opportunity for you guys to work on your writing skills. Come up with some creative writing. Tell us a story of what's going on in this story or just some sentences. All right, it's time for our math uh, problems of the week. Remember, there is a kindergarten and first grade one, a second and third grade one, and a fourth and fifth grade one. So if you want to work on these, uh, you can put them on the whiteboard and the teachers have the um, link to that in your classroom. 
Don't forget, if you put in an answer, put your teacher's name on it, or your name, and the teacher's class. All right, here's our kindergarten and first grade question for this week. Miss Goodman is missing five buttons on her jacket. How many ways can you use red and blue buttons to finish her jacket? List all the different ways and submit your answer onto the whiteboard with the link on the screen. All right, now it's time for our second and third grade question. Mr. Butcher bought two pieces of gum for 79 cents. He used only coins and gave exact change. List as many possibilities of coin combinations he could have given to pay for his gum. Put your answer on the uh, whiteboard with the link on the screen. It's time for our fourth and fifth grade problem of the week. The hat Mr. Newper bought was three times the cost of the one Mr. Vickers wears. Mr. Vickers' hat cost $25. If Mr. Newper paid for his hat with a $100 bill, how much change would he get back? All right, put, submit your answers on the whiteboard um, with the link on the screen. All right, it's time for our morning message. Today is on responsibility. We say responsibility is doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort. Well, today, it's talking about doing your one's best and the word duty. Duty is a word we might not hear very often, but it is an important word. Why? Because our duty is what we ought to do. So what should you do? What is your duty in life? Well, that's probably something you should talk about with a parent, a caregiver, a counselor, or a faith leader. But here's an idea. Your only duty is to do the best you can. Today, let's do our duty by doing our personal best. With something to think about, I'm Mr. Butcher. Make today your masterpiece or not. Remember, the choice is yours. Doing your job. Doing the right thing. Doing what you ought to do. Right, fifth grade? Doing what you ought to do. So when you see people that are doing fake fighting or play fighting, and you see people encouraging them, you shouldn't be doing that. Or if someone tells you to fight, you don't choose to do that. You choose to do the right thing. You know fighting is not right. You know even play fighting is not right because play fighting leads to real fighting. And you know encouraging people to fight is not the right thing to do. So doing your best is doing the right thing. You guys know what the difference between right and wrong is. And when you see people doing the wrong thing and you can't get them to stop, then you need to go and tell a teacher. And yes, you are a snitch if you get telling them. But guess what? You kept them from getting hurt and you kept them from getting in trouble. Uh, or you kept yourself from getting in trouble. And guess what? That's what we need to do. Keep each other safe. That's my job. That's your teacher's job. And that's your job. Keep yourself safe too by making good choices. So yes, you are a snitch if you tell on people for fighting. But guess what? That's a good kind of snitch. That's the snitch we want. So you guys do the right thing all the time. You know what's right. Do all right, it. I said that if the Georgia Bulldogs won the national championship, I would call the dogs on our morning announcements. This is, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this because I'm not really a Georgia person, but here we go. I say it, you repeat it after me. Who's that coming down the tracks? It's the mean machine in red and black. Ain't nothing finer in the land than a loud, obnoxious bulldog fan. Go, dog! Go, dog! Go, dog! Go! Dogs! Sick em. Hoo, 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 hoo! National champions, call the dogs. There are times where you have to wear your mask, like when you're riding the bus, or if you've been exposed to COVID in your classroom and you're in your, uh, um, quarantining at school in a mask. So if you are in those one of those situations, this is how we wear our mask the right way. Over our nose, over our mouth, make sure it's covering your chin, make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall down. You guys have a great day. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are fully committed, committed to student success. success.
I love you very much, Harry. <laughs> read aloud today's read aloud is chicken little the real and totally true tale written and illustrated author is sam Wittelich, and he's also the illustrator that means he wrote the words because he's the author and drew the pictures because he's the illustrator as i read i'm going to try to model what good readers do which is read fluently reading the words at a good pace not too fast not too slow and with expression and as i read this is a great time for you guys to practice what good readers do as they're listening, whether they're reading to themselves or they're having books read to them. Listen for, in a fiction book, the, uh, the, the characters, who or what the story's about, the setting, when and where the story's taking place, and the sequence of events, what happens first, next, and last. And ask yourself questions like, what just happened? How did it happen? Who did it happen to? What do I think's gonna happen next? That's what good readers do, because we want you to understand what you're reading, not just read the words. So Chicken Little, the real and totally true tale. I'm not little, I'm petite. Petite's another word for little. Little implies young and small. I am not a baby. Babies are easily scared, and I'm not afraid of anything. Bonk! What was that? Hide! I thought he said he wasn't scared of anything. Something bonks his head, he's running. Is the coast clear? Nothing looks dangerous. Chicken Little looked low. Chicken Little looked high. Nada. Nada means nothing. There must be a reasonable explanation. It's not like the sky is falling. That's ridiculous. Or is it? Hey, Sky, are you falling? Me? No. I'm a blanket of gas held by the pull of gravity. I do not fall. Sky says it can't fall. Hmm, that sounds like an excuse. Stuff falls from the sky all the time. Preposterous. Name one thing. Well, meteor, star, rain, snow, hail. Usually you turn white or gray for that stuff, but who knows what you're capable of. Maybe you could start falling at any time. No, honestly, I'm fine, says the sky. Chicken Little, what are you doing? Just checking in with the sky to make sure it's not falling. What? The sky is falling? Oh no, it's not Chicken Little, it's another Chicken Little. Hey, wait, I didn't say, hey everybody, the sky is falling! back in the barnyard. The sky is falling! Run! 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 The sky is falling! Run! Chickens. This is clucky chaos, utter hendemonium, and I started it, but how do I stop it? Chicken Little brought in the fact. Checking snipes, who were widely respected, but the horde of hens wouldn't stop to listen. <clears throat> chicken Little tried to corral them in the coop in, so she could explain, but the chickens refused to be caged. We're free range! Funny. Run for the hills! Cut the fence! Sky is falling! Things really got out of hand when Chicken Little heard the hens chanting, Cut the fence! Cut the fence! It's chaos. Okay, first, never run with scissors, but more importantly, you cannot cut the fence. There are actual predators out there. But the sky is falling. Predators? What are predators? Hmm, good vocabulary word. Things that can eat. Oh, that's poppycock. Didn't anyone tell you not to believe everything you hear? I just got a bonk on the head and I was, in, and I was investigating the source. A bonk? Ouch, did it hurt? Did she say bonk? Yes. Oh, you poor dear. We'll, we'll, we'll need a bandage. Got it. Cluck, cluck. I've got eyes. Cluck, cluck. Check the pupils for dilation. Cluck, cluck. I forgot about the sky fog. Honestly, I'm fine. And she was. 
See, I told you, I wasn't afraid of anything. Chicken Little, the real and totally tall tale. Tall, true tale.